Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Dominique Kelsey, People's Agent. Been a real estate group, and right now I'm at 3076 Stratford Court in Chesapeake, Virginia. Check out this house. About to show it out, have a sit down interview uh, with the owner. We want to talk about why this house is going to sell and sell very quickly. Uh, it has some great features. As you can see, it is right on the water. Alright, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey, this is Dominique Kepps, the People's Agent with Venom Real Estate Group, and I am live at the Sweatin Manor with the one and only Bob Sweatin. Welcome. Yes. Alright, we're gonna talk about this luxurious home that is located in Chesapeake, Virginia. 6,800 square feet, and I want to talk to Bob a little bit about it. He'll give you some great features on this home. So, Bob. Glad to be here, first of all. Welcome. All right. Glad you could come. Yes, sir. So, what would you say is the main selling pitch of this home? Why did you and your wife, Judy, why did you all buy this home? Well, we bought it because it was a two-family uh, adventure. My daughter and two grandsons and her husband were looking to move from Virginia Beach, and they wanted a swimming pool for the boys, and they wanted water so that they could put a boat. We put a dock in okay. so that uh, that was the one of the main criteria. Uh, of course, we were looking for at least five bedrooms, and we were looking for something that had at least three-car garage. This has five-car garage. Mm -hmm. It has uh, about seven bedrooms, depending okay. upon what, how you want to arrange it. Gotcha. And uh, so it, it was, it fit our needs. But the thing that we liked, I liked about it most, was the quality of the house. They didn't, they didn't spare anything when they built this house. So basically, this home was custom built. Pretty, it was a custom-built home. Uh, the the owner owned part of one third of, of Western Branch Diesel. Okay. So they they uh, and they lived in it for twenty years, and we've lived here ten now. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, also, is located right on the is this the Elizabeth? Um, Elizabeth River, Western Branch of Elizabeth River is to our right. Okay. This is called Stearns Creek. It's kind of like a, an offshoot from, but you can get. You can boat from here to Lizard River, down to Waterside, and out to the ocean if you want to go that way. Or so you can take the intercoastal waterway too. Okay. So this is a waterfront home, but it also has a swimming pool. Swimming pool? With the diving board. You have shared with me before that you have actually entertained some of the guests. What are some of the guests that you all have entertained? In, in your well, home? we've had um, gatherings here, uh, mostly were. Uh, Political, where we had 85 people inside the house, okay. walking around and, and uh, enjoying each other's company and, and meeting, meeting, greeting a politician. Okay. We've had uh, wedding receptions here. We've had high school graduations here, where, where they were celebrating okay. after the graduation. Uh, we've had baseball teams come out here and, and use the outside and the pool and stuff like that. Uh, we've had a, a movie shoot, shoot here where they, they borrowed the house and, and for a whole day. They, they took pictures and, and investigative discoveries was the name of the program. Okay. And, okay. Uh, so they call it the Tara Tara of the South. Tara of the South. North. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, I call it the Sh it was the Schwepton Banner Manor until the banners moved out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, in, in my tour of this home, one of the features that I really enjoy is the area above the garage. Um, let's talk about it a little bit because to me that is really a house in itself. It was. When we first moved here, my daughter and her husband and two friends, her sons lived in the main part of the house. Okay. My wife and I lived above the, the garage. There's three rooms, a total of 1,800 square feet. And uh, we had a kitchen put in. Um, we had some cabinetry done uh, for the bedroom. Uh, but it's very spacious. In fact, we moved here from a 1,600 square foot home uh, and reside in 1,800 square feet. 1,800 square feet. And we only used two out of the three rooms when we lived there, my wife, my wife and myself. Wow. So the third one was, was an exercise room, and I could brag to everybody that I went to the gym every day on the way to the bar. Because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't exercise. Um, yeah. Talk about the neighborhood a little bit. Um, 
it's this part part is is very professional. We had uh, a doctor that lived across the street. Okay. Uh, he died, and now there's two doctors moving in there. There was a, a gentleman, um, an anesthesiologist that lived to, to the left of him. To the right of them is a retired Navy captain uh, who's a lawyer. And okay. then down the street, there's you know, business people, uh, some teachers, um, but uh, professional people okay. on the cul-de-sac. The other part of the neighborhood, uh, it's a big neighborhood. Point Elizabeth is, is quite large, and they go from townhouses walk way down. Uh, if you want, there's a $3 million house down there for sale, too. So they have all ranges. Okay, gotcha. Uh, a lot of inlets, a lot of water. It's great for canoeing. Uh, I'm not a big on boating, uh, but you can fish and, and, and boat and water ski and anything else you want to do. Now, you, you, you shared with me before that you and your wife actually could do um, how far? <laughs> we, we, frequently, we canoe over to Portsmouth City Park. Okay. Uh, the latest and the longest route was when we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. We, we canoed from here to the bridge that crosses from Chesapeake into Portsmouth on Portsmouth Boulevard. Okay which my guess is, is a good four miles uh, one way. And we canoed over there, got out, or docked our canoe, got out and walked down to Dairy Queen, had lunch and then canoed back. Yeah. 50 year anniversary, that's, that's, yeah. that's an awesome way to do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, the last thing I would like for you to talk about, just, you know, two potential buyers. Um, you know, <clears throat> why would you think this would be a great home? Okay. Uh, and who do you think will be a great home for? Good question. Uh, it's a big home, and a lot of people that have come look at it, I basically said this home's not for you. If you don't have a large family or an extended family, or you don't have a lot of guests coming in from out of town, you want to give them a place to stay. 6,800 square feet is too big for a husband and two children or a small family. It's good for entertaining. Uh, we belong to a couple groups, and we entertain quite frequently. We have dinner parties, and we have uh, pool parties, we have out, outdoor uh, entertainment. Uh, it's also good for uh, <clears throat> professional people that, that uh, need the space. Um, like say for extended family or uh, maybe have somebody coming in from out of country and needs a place to stay for a week or so. The space above the garage is ideal for that. Good, good. Alright, well hey, I am Dominic Kepps, the People's Agent with Bell Real Estate Group and I am excited about the opportunity to be able to showcase this house along with Bob Swetton and an open, an open house. I'm going to talk about that real quickly. Okay. Can't forget that. March the 21st at 5 p.m. we will have a open house and then they will be able to see how this house is great for entertainment. One thing I want to add before we, we close is that a lot of people want to know why I'm leaving such a, a, a nice house. Uh, and I don't think I'll ever find one as spacious and, and as well built as this, even in buying a new home today. 6,800 square feet is too much space for a husband and wife. We need to downsize, and I like to move to Florida. So uh, I, I, I hope that the people that move in here will enjoy half as much as I do. Good, good. All right, we look forward to seeing you all on March 21st at 5 p.m. And um, I am Dominique Epps once again. This is Bob Swartz. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, sir.